I would maintain that thanks are the highest form of thought and that gratitude is happiness doubled by wonder. That's a quote by G.K. Chesterton. It's easy for us to remember to give thanks for all that we are grateful for when that gratitude is, say, centered around a holiday. But being grateful is 365. Here to share a super cool project is my sister, Eco Heidi Borchers. Hi there. Gosh, this is such a wonderful show with all these, with the theme of grateful. Um, when Tiffany gave me this assignment, I knew I had to do something with words because I love in my house to have words. I love everywhere I go that there's just like a word that kind of reminds me of the things that. Um, I need to be grateful is perfect. So I wanted to, before we get into the demo, I wanted to show you that this is actually, my project today is an upcycle. Um, I got these wonderful tile boards. They were apparently tile was discontinued in this local store and they gave them to me. They're on a beautiful masonite with a Formica finish. And then they have this little hole at the top. So I'm gonna show you what I did with these. So first of all, I'll move this for a second. What, what I do with these is I kind of, because you only have like a little panel on there, I do take other tiles and I add to them. I take my um, glue and I put onto their, all the back and everything, and I glue it on like so. And then I just keep adding pieces. And I actually do, even on the one that I did, I covered up my hole because when I go to grout it, I can use that little indentation on the back to hang it. So like this is perfect to start and maybe add a few more on the bottom. Now this piece here, remember, is already on the background. It's already glued. Sometimes they're hard to get it off, um, but they're already um, on there. So maybe I would put, I would probably cut this a little bit. These are on kind of, when they come off, they kind of come off the net. And so I would probably cut this, maybe glue this down here. So when you have it all glued on, you're gonna grout it just to, with just a sanded grout. I might fill in something there. And that's what I did for the background of my piece. You can see how it's, it's all grouted. And I'm gonna show you how I did the words. Now these letters are actually made uh, by myself, I hand pour them from a vintage um, mold, and they are available on the Shop Cool to Craft website. Every um, letter in the alphabet is available. And um, first thing I do is I take some alcohol ink. And you know, it, it looks like on my, my piece that, that it's just painted copper. And this is kind of funny because I, actually started my project by doing these with alcohol ink. And then when I got done, it, it just wasn't enough color when I put it onto my, my, frame, or my mosaic piece. But then I found that the mistake worked out really cool. Not a mistake, but just the, the creativity worked out cool because I'll show you what I did after. You know, when I was working on them first, I just kept putting all the colors of green. I wanted green for some reason. And then when I went to put them on, it just didn't pop enough. So here's what I did after that. I covered it with the alcohol ink and greens. I did, and you know, I wasn't even perfect about it. Then I let it dry a little bit and I took a copper color acrylic paint and then I just went over in copper. And these letters have kind of a, a texture to them. So I just, when I painted on the, the copper color, I didn't completely cover my green. And I wasn't even really thinking about this when I went to do this, but it worked out perfectly to kind of make my letters look like they were patina. Because if you look at a real patina copper, 
they have a little bit of green underneath them. Let's see if we can get that in there. You can see, see the, the green coming out? I love that look. So I'm gonna show you again all the different letters. Now remember all these letters, they're available in white or they're available in black on the cool to um, shop cool to craft. And then I took these little mirror pieces and I glued them on the sides. And I'm gonna turn this one over so you can see on the back, that's where my hole was. I actually did grout it and then I put some glue in it when it was grouted because I didn't want that grout to, to um, fall out and that's where you can hang it. So that makes these perfect uh, for upcycling these wonderful tile boards and um, also to say uh, how grateful we are or any other word. Were there any questions on the project? That you can see how quick that project was. In fact, I was really surprised when I went to mosaic it because most of it's already done how well it went together. Also, I want to say, um, mention that the instructions for grouting are in the, be sure you go to the Cool to Craft site because in next week's Cool to Craft newsletter that comes out a week from tomorrow, I have a step-by-step -step tutorial for this that actually shows how to grout it. Be sure you go there uh, to the Cool to Craft website and sign up for that newsletter. Bev, did I spray the letters? You know, I didn't spray the letters because this is going to be inside. If you're going to put it outside, um, it definitely you would spray it with a, a spray sealer. Glass mosaic is the exact same thing, I think, is the exact same thing as any of your tile mosaics. I use the Well Bond glue and um, it works really good inside or outside. Thanks everyone. I'm so grateful for you and I'm so grateful for my family and my friends. Thanks so much.